Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and Happy Halloween. It is indeed the stroke of midnight when this video comes out in many of the territories that watch our material, so the veil is at its thinnest, I guess. And here in the puzzle we see a bat emerging from the mist, according to the puzzle title from James Cott. So I'm really looking forward, I guess, to getting to grips with that. Um, I'm trying not to be too scared of it, and we'll see how it goes. I'm solving it, you can probably see, before it gets dark here, because I don't want to take any chances. Um, now, there's so much going on. Not just is it the end of the month, which leads to Patreon stuff, but we have just released on um, Android and in the App Store a new gas app. Now, this is... So far, it's 30 puzzles. There are going to be 10 added each month for the next three months, so it'll be a total of 60. So it doesn't cost as much as the 100 puzzle apps that we normally bring out. Um, and Gas is genuinely approachable Sudoku. So these puzzles have been created by Clover, Sam Kappelman Lines, and Philip Newman, who run the Daily Puzzle Channel, uh, the Daily Sudoku Channel on the Discord server and whose puzzles I normally solve. And I was planning to do gas today until I realized it was Halloween. So um, we will do a themed puzzle today and I'm sure I will remember to do gas tomorrow. I'm sure I will. Um, anyway, so really looking forward to the reception to that. People have been asking for a, a genuinely approachable app for a while and this is the one. And some people will fly through it in no time. Others will take their chances to get acquainted with some of the variants, which is really what the gas puzzles are all about. They, they're they very good teaching tools for the variant Sudoku types that we do, and it's really good. Now, at the same time, we have updated the Domino Sudoku app, so there are more puzzles available in that. Um, and do check that out on if, if you have that app already. Sorry, it's within the CTC app. So if you have the CTC app, you can now... Um, do an in-app purchase for the Gas app, or you, if you've already got the Domino app, you can update that and you will get those extra puzzles. Um, great stuff on the apps. Anyway, thank you so much to uh, Studio Goya, our partner. And uh, yes, Patreon. So today is the last day. It's finished now of the competition to explain another language by Shy and Jovial, which is brilliant. And I don't quite know. I mean, somewhere on Patreon, we will release, maybe Simon will announce that the winner of the competition will release their their explanation of how to how to go about getting a solution to that puzzle. Choosing my words fairly carefully. Now, um, on Patreon tomorrow, 4 p.m. our time. So that's 11 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central European time. We will be releasing... The new, um, it is a hunt, it's definitely a hunt, uh, a Sudoku hunt, based on the labours of Hercules by Piotr V, uh, a, a Panthera and Spartacus, who are fantastic constructors of Sudoku puzzles and indeed hunts, as we have seen before. And this one is no exception. I really think you'll enjoy the pack just for the just for the stories and the layout and the illustrations, let alone the puzzles, which are brilliant. Um, Simon has, again, possibly rather daringly committed to reading out the names of anybody who does complete the full hunt. But you can do it as a mini quest by selecting one uh, from each of the one puzzle from each of the authors. And then there is an, a uh, solution that you can send us at crackingthecryptic at gmail.com, which will entitle you to be in the draw for a prize for November. So that is coming up. Oh, I mean, there's so much going on. What else have we got? The Kickstarter still running. About 18 days left, I think, something like that. And we are really hoping to... Well, we, we will be putting up more stretch goals soon, but uh, we're hoping to get through stretch goals we hadn't planned at all. I'm not convinced Simon knew his guitar solo um, was going to become a stretch goal. That's quite funny to me. Um, and I don't think we're going to hit the $1 million that forces me to do something with Dance Dance Revolution, which uh, would be embarrassing for all concerned. So all of that is going on. I mean, I don't know. There's, there's probably other stuff. Well, there's the celebrity crossword event which um 
which is actually on November the 15th. If I said the 17th accidentally yesterday, I apologize. The uh, video will be November the 15th with Jack Fox, um, a famous actor, uh, learning and cooperating in how to um, create a cryptic crossword with John Halpin, who is Paul from The Guardian. And uh, that'll be really interesting. I'll certainly be in attendance myself. <laughs> Oh, so much other stuff going on. I don't know. I'm going to end there and, and just look at this video, this puzzle, because uh, there is so much stuff that it's hard to remember it all, frankly. Um, and it does keep us very busy, I can assure you. But I am going to look at this puzzle called Bat Emerging from the Mist by James Cop. Normal Sudoku rules apply. That's the letter of the letters. Numbers one to nine appear in every row, column, and three by three box. Now, Along the line, that's this bat line, adjacent digits must have a difference of at least four. So there must be a difference of at least four, not five, but four between those cells. So they could be one and five, they could be one and nine, they could be two and eight, but they couldn't be three and six, for instance. And the same applies to any two adjacent digits along the line. This constraint is called Dutch whispers, and hence the line is orange. Um, now, a digit in a coloured cell, that's these yellow cells, must form at least one sum of 5 or 10 with a digit in an orthogonally adjacent cell. So, given that this cell is coloured, there is a sum of either 5 or 10 in those two cells, or in those two cells, or in both. A digit in a white cell must not form any sum of 5 or 10 with a digit in an orthogonally adjacent sum. So you can't make five or 10 from those two, those two, or those two, because of that white cell being white. That is a fascinating rule. We have not played with a rule like that before. There are examples in the instructions, but I'm sure you can work that out. And I don't know what it's gonna mean for the solve. As I say, this is completely new to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's really interesting. James Cop traditionally doesn't do easy puzzles, although he does do puzzles that very often commemorate dates and events and things like that. So no surprise to get a Halloween puzzle from him, but I have no idea how it's going to play, and I'm a bit scared. Not literally. <laughs> do give this a try on the first link under the video. I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. So, right. Excellent. Six. Six is a great number to put on this line because the only digits four or more away from six are one and two. And since those two see each other, that must be one of each of them. Now with the two, it's not so straightforward. That can touch six, seven, eight, or nine. These two touch each other and I can't rule any single digit out by virtue of that. Okay, so maybe the rule is important. Okay, we've got, ah. Okay, this cell is yellow. But because these cells are white, they don't form a five or 10 sum with that cell. So the only cell that can form the five or 10 sum that it must form a five or 10 sum with is that cell. So I am going to put a little x between them. Now, x could mean that these add up to 10, but it could also mean that they add up to 5. Now, no. Oh, I was going to put an x there. I, th I was thinking these must form a chain around here, and I was going to be all excited and started to conclude that these two cells added up to 5, but... I think what I've, my brain failed to understand in its first pass at this was that these two cells do not have to add up to 5 or 10 because that one is doing it with that cell and this one could do it with that cell. So actually I can't even fill in another x there because I can't be sure which of those two do form a 5 or 10 pair. However, this is where I actually notice this. It's on this cell where row, this one I'm in, row four, column six, must form a five or 10 with that. And anything that actually sticks out on its own is doing the same sort of thing. So 
Those are definite five or ten relationships. And this cell, I mean, if it's a five, it's four or three. If it's a ten relationship, it's eight or nine. And that really isn't as helpful as I was hoping for. But, okay, I can also notice that these two cells do not have a five or ten relationship. Therefore, this one and this one do. So again, that's three, four, eight, and nine. I can put that little x in. Oh, and this one, I hadn't marked that. That must form a five or ten with the one below. Ah, and in this box, we've used one and two, so it can't be a five relationship, because four, one, and three, two are no longer possible. Oh, so it's a ten relationship, and it can't use one, two, or six. Oh, wow, so that's a three, seven pair. That's nice. So that's not three. These are from four, five, eight, nine. Now, can we use the... Yeah, we must be able to use the rule somehow here. That's one or two, so this can't be four. Um, I think this can't be eight now, which is a very weird number to pick out of that, because that is too close to all of five, eight, and nine. But unfortunately, it could be nine with a five there, five with a nine there, or four with either eight or nine there. This cell on the line, it's not that helpful. Oh, hang on, this one. Yeah, it can't be five. Oh, that's really interesting. It can't be five because whether or not it's connecting to that cell or that cell, five is not... Oh, five's not... <laughs> Five's not in a, a V or X. Five is not in any of the relationships. This is the most obvious step in this puzzle, and I did not think of it till now. Look at this box and ask where five goes in this box, because the, the one thing I can tell you is that it doesn't go... Oh, I can't switch that off. There we go. It doesn't go in a yellow cell, because five can never form a sum of 5 or 10 with an orthogonally adjacent cell because it's too big to form a 5 sum and it would need another 5 to form a 10 sum. So 5 in that box goes there. Look, I've got another box like that to put 5 in. 5 sees those two cells. 5 must go there. Might be able to suddenly finish the 5s, which is insane. Look, one of those is a 5. And therefore, those two aren't, because they see other fives. Look, I think I might be able to... I was thinking I was wrong. That's a five. That's a five. That's a five. And that's a five. And there's all the fives done. And if you did that instantly, hats off to you. I was just not... Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, just hitting the wrong button. I was just not thinking of that. Right, so using the Dutch Whisper rule, this is now a nine, isn't it? I'm quite glad I did some of this spade work actually earlier because it does give me a chance now to, to actually use that five stuff to get, to get more done. Um, now, hang on. That, I've mistyped a four, as a, as a five as a four, so there we go. Now... This must be a 9 or a 1 to be next to a 5 on the line. Ah, now, I'll tell you something else. If we were doing a German whisper line, which are normally green, and they have a difference of 5 or more, and one of the interesting things about those lines is you can go low, high, low, high, low, high, talking about numbers lower or higher than 5 by virtue of the rule. Now, in Dutch whispers, you can't do that. And the reason you can't do that for a whole line is because there is a problem with five appearing on the line sometimes in that you can switch from low, high, low, high by having one, five, nine at some point, which makes you go low, middly, high. But in this grid, we've now shifted... Well, we've now determined all the fives. There's only one on the bat. So we do go low, high, low, high. Um, if I do colouring, it's rather going to disturb the 
background colouring that we need for the rules. So I'll just put one 3 or 4 there. Can't be a 2 because of that. Same is true here. This must be high. This is high. This is low. Uh, 1, 2, 3 or 4, let's say. This is high, but it cannot. It can only be 9. So those aren't 9s. Now that doesn't mean this is a 1. And in fact, between these two 5s, I don't know which way this goes. It's going to alternate, certainly. Those will all be either high or low, but I don't know whether that's a 1 or a 9, and I don't know whether this is a 1 or a 9. I just know that it is a 1 or a 9. I could know if it's the same polarity as that digit. Um, because all of these are the same polarity as we alternate up the line. No, so they're different. That's quite interesting. In that those two cells, one of them is a 1 and the other is a 9. But all that's telling me is that that digit is not 1 or 9, which is not something I can use at the moment. Right, so I need to do something a bit more imaginative now, which is perfectly reasonable. Um, how can I use what I've learnt? Oh, here. No, it doesn't determine what this is. It could still be 1, 4 or 2, 8. Ah, now there is a negative constraint, well, sort of. In that um, what I'm trying to say is Hmm. Well, the white cells mustn't. Yes, that can't be an 8 because it would be next to a 2. That's the sort of thing. That's what I'm trying to say and find. Um, and it's not all that helpful at the moment as far as I can see. Now, this is a pair that add up to... Well, I was going to say that add up to 10. Yes, it is a pair that add up to 10 because of that 1, 2. Now, it's either 4, 6 or 3, 7. Because of the 1, 2, this can't be a pair that adds up to 5, because that would need a 1 or a 2 in it. Um, and this, this might be a 1, 4 pair adding up to 5, so I can't be sure here. Ah... Oh. 4 and 6 are quite difficult numbers to put on... Dutch whisper lines. No, not no, maybe not. Not difficult enough in this case. Right, I need to do something else. I need to find either a positive or a negative relationship that matters. Right, this can't be a one because it would be next to a white nine. That's the sort of thing. Um Yes, there it is. That 9 can't be next to 1, or it couldn't be white. It would be yellow. Wow, that's taken a long time, and I'm sure it wasn't that difficult. But anyway, that's not 3 or 8. This is 8 now. That's 4 in the box. Right, this... This pair can't be 3, 7, or 4, 6. And they can't be a 5 pair now, because 3 and 4 are gone in the column. So... It's either one two one nine or eight two. Um, now let's just keep finding this sort of stuff because it's quite helpful. One two nine five. Don't know this. Oh yeah, okay. Interestingly, if that was four or six. This would have to be 1, 2, 8, or 9. And that's not possible. Okay, that's quite complicated, and it may not be necessary, but I'm doing it anyway. If this was a 4, 6 pair, 4 and 6, 4 can only be next to 8 or 9 on the Dutch whisper line. 6 can only be next to 1 or 2. So this number would be from 1, 2, 8, or 9. We'd have a quadruple here. And if that's 4, 6, these two are left to be a 3, 7 pair. But that can't be from 3 and 7 because of that. So this is not a 4, 6 pair. That's a 3, 7 pair. 
Um, five, three, so three and seven are in those cells. They're probably together, but I don't know that. Ah, oh, four can't form a five or a ten with that cell. So I can put in another of my X's. And that is giving me one or six here to make a five or ten pair. Four is in one of these two. Oh, and this is a four, six, eight triple. I've only just spotted that. I don't think I can use the rule to determine the order. It makes it likely that four is next to six, but they could all link across. Eight could link to two there. I just don't think I've got the power to, to rationalize that much. Um, I don't think I can just look at negative cells either. Ah, the line maybe. We've got a three or a seven there. I'd love to know the order of those because that would determine the polarity along this section of line. I don't quite know. Right. Ah. Oh, and it's, 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 yes, this is a nice, no, it's a very unnecessary thought. The simple thought is, where does six go in this box? The thought I actually had here was it can't go there because it would be next to four and we get white. But actually this given six is an absolute giveaway. Uh, so six is there, sorry. Um, now you still can't put a one in these cells with a four because that wouldn't be white. Oh, and this cell can't join with that. So it's going to have to join with the one below. So that gives us another X. But that doesn't mean this has to be a 1-9 pair, I don't think. Oh, look, 8 as well. Can't be there. So it's definitely in those cells. So they're an 8-2 pair. Yeah, I'm finally understanding that where you get a high digit and a known X or V relationship, it's always with its low partner in the sort of 10 complement situation. So two, three, and seven up there. This one can't be two. I still don't think these are very helpful. I mean, there's obviously an X relationship between those two. And the fact that I haven't marked some X relationships doesn't mean they don't exist. Now, why I wasn't thrilled about this is because although I've got one, four, nine here, Ah, oh, this can't be a 1, actually, because it would be next to 4 or 9. Oh, this can't be a 1 either. Ah, oh, this is much more helpful, this negative constraint, than I realised. Because whether that was 1, if that was 1, whether that was 4 or 9, it couldn't be white. Ah, oh, that's really weird. So that's the 1. Let's take out the corner mark there. And I don't think I can do more than that in this box for now. Three, seven, no. I may have finished what I can do in columns seven, eight, and nine. Oh, I've got that one now and have had for ages looking across at this cell. And that determines the high, low all the way down this line. It also makes that four. Right, this is now high, six, seven, or eight. This is high, seven, eight, or nine. So is that. This is high, that's the important one. Seven there, three there, nine here for the line, four there. These are low. That one is two, three, or four. That one is one, two, or three. And that one is one, three, or four. Um, right, now. 7 joins to what on the line? 3 or 1 if it can't be 2. I was going to say if it's 1, I don't know, it's not that it could join to a 9 there or a 4 there and justify its, its yellow status. Okay, let's have a look along here. Are there any numbers missing? Not really. 
Ooh, okay, I'm going to have a look along this row as well, because the white cells, they're in some ways more powerful than the yellow. For instance, this can't be a 2-8 pair, because they wouldn't be white. They'd need to be yellow. Therefore, in this row, 2 or 8 must be here. These include 1 of 2 or 8 and 1 of 3 and 7. 1 of 2 and 8 and 1 of 3 and 7 can't be 2, 8, 2, 3, or 3, 7 as a pair. That means it must be 3, 8. Oh, that is so weird. Is that right? Yes, this is right. Because that can't be a 2, 8 pair, and it can't be a 3, 7 pair because of that cell, it's 1 of 3, 7 and 1 of 2, 8. And those form pairs that can't be together as if the high low is 3, 7, if the high low is 2, 8, or if the low low, oh no, I'm wrong. I was going to say it must be 3, 8, but it could be 8, 7. 2 though. Oh, it could be 2, 7. I'm completely wrong. Yeah, they don't have to have a any sort of whispers relationship or anything. They just have to not add up to 10 or 5 together. So it could be 2, 7, 3, 8, or 8, 7. And I can't, I kept on thinking I could decide this cell, but I now think I can't. Okay, so lots of thoughts down the wrong track, giving people a chance to get a much better time than me today. That's fine. Now, if that was a 4... This would be 8 and 9 surrounding it. Useless, useless thought. Is it about the yellow cells and what they have to join to? The trouble is 2 there can join to either, well, 8 here or 8 or 3 here. So it's just not that powerful a... A constraint. This must join to either 1, 3, or 4. But to me, that means it could be any of 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, or 9. And although we can rule out 9, that still leaves a lot of possibilities. Doesn't seem to eliminate anything for definite in the row. So, ugh, I'm missing the point here. Come on, Mark, what is going on? What about this pair? Uninteresting. There are two pairs that we know about in this column, though. I don't know. I don't know how we decide what they are. Okay, let's mark in the possibilities. They're from 2, 3, 7, and 8. This one... just not that helpful. There must be a 9 in one of those two cells, just by Sudoku. Oh, there must be a 9 in one of these two. Now, that's either going to mean that that's a 9, in which case that has to be a 1. But if that's a 9, ah, then this can't, then neither of these can be a 1. So if that's a 9, there's a 1 here. If that's a 9, there's a 1 in one of these two. So there's always a 1 in one of these two. And it's not here next to that 9. So it, that is a 1. Now, that didn't prove that's a 9. But it does now, because that can't be a 1-4 relationship, because we've had the 4. So 9 there. OK, good. That's clearly not a 1 by ordinary Sudoku. Um, and this 2 or 3, which doesn't join to that cell, is either going to be a 3 joining to a 7 in one of those, or a 2 joining to an 8. That's not so useful. Those could both be high. Um, 6 in the box. 4 is the number 6 can't be next to, so... Not that useful. Oh, this can't be six. It would be next to four. It's that sort of thing. I just can't see these things. They they really don't occur to me as 
things that to look for. So that's not a seven now. It's eight or nine. If it's eight, that's a two. If it's nine, that's a one. Because it's in a corner, so it must be forming a relationship with something. Um, I really don't know anything about that cell. By Sudoku, this is three, six, or eight. Now, are any of those ruled out by the rule? Not really, actually. But am I missing... I mean, just like I was missing this cell and its rule effectiveness, I could be missing others. And I might be missing Dutch Whisper relationships that are cropping up. That's all too possible as well. If that was a four, this has to be eight. Um, that's nah, not helpful. Nine, one, five. Still the drilling goes on. Just never-ending nonsense. Um, right, I'm looking across the bottom row. See, interestingly, I was going to say that can't be eight, but it could be. There could be a a deadly pattern that's resolved in some other way there. Um, wow, I'm sorry, I, d I do need to find something else here and I don't know how to look for it. That's the really weird thing. What is this? It's not 49512 or 8, it's 3, 6 or 7. It can't be 3 because that would then have to be two, and they would add up to five together. If it was seven, that would have to be two again. Ah, there's probably some beautiful deduction to be done from, the, from one or two possibilities in one cell somewhere. I don't know what it is. Um, right, wherever 7 is here, it must be next to 3. That just excludes 2 from that cell. Wherever 8 is here, it must be next to 2. Yeah, this is the way to look at this. It's to look for the high digits and work out, work out how they're going to get their matches. It must be. Um, the trouble is this touches four cells, so it's very hard to rule it out of being anything or into being anything. Oh, you can see I'm not finding this easy at all. That could be a three, and then it would touch to the seven. If it was a one, oh, you could have a four there or a nine there. Two and eight. Sorry if you're shouting something obvious at the screen. I cannot hear you today. My brain is very fogged by this stuff. That can't be a one because it's next to a white nine. Oh, and now there's only one place for the one in this row. Isn't that weird? Is it weird? Feels weird. Eight is definitely there or there. Um, the one doesn't do anything for the whisper line, but it does say there's a one in one of those two cells. Now, if that's a one, that's a three. Doesn't sort those out for me. Come on, what does this one do? It allows, ah, it's got to either touch a four there or a nine there. That's not helpful. This could be a four touching down, six or four. This can't, yeah, it could even be an eight touching a two there. Right, what's going on in this row? Two, three, four, six and eight still to place. I don't know, I don't know how to do it. I don't think I've got anything on that. Whatever this is has to 
touch a 5 or 10 complement above or below. Could be a 3 touching a 2 there. Otherwise, it's going to have to make a relationship here. Doesn't have to have a 6. Crikey. Okay, if 3 was here, this would be a 3-8 pair. You'd get 6 there and 7 there. I don't know. 7, 2... So if it was 3-8, you get 6 there and 7 there. But it could also be 8-7, which gives you 6 here and 3 here. And it can be 2, 7. I don't know how to do this puzzle. I'm sure it's very straightforward, actually. The next step, at least. Nines. There's a 9 in one of those. Can that be 9? Easily, is my, my first impression. I've got to do something about the positives, so the positive relationships. I don't want it to be up here. Let's look at this two. We either have... No, let's find a high digit. I don't know. It's so hard to know what to look for. Five, two, one, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. This is either three or one to make a five sum or six, seven, eight to make a ten sum. It's almost like a one, three, four, six, seven, eight quintuple, but not enough like it to actually be that. There just aren't enough restrictions on these cells to, to decide what they can be. I suppose if that was a 9, you you can't have a 1 here, so you'd have to have a 1 here. Then you'd be having 3, 8 over this side. And that would be a 6. That would be 9, and that would be 1. So if that's, that's all based on that being a 9, though, and it doesn't have to be at all. Oh, there's some number here that's just so obviously not one of the candidates I'm allowing. That's what's happening. Which number is it, and why can't I see it? It's here. If that was 6, it couldn't have 4 next to it, so 4 would be there. I don't know. I think the white cells are more helpful than the others, but without a lot of things being ruled out, they're not very helpful. So that's 1, 6, 8 or 9, just by Sudoku. Now... If it's a 1, we get a 3 there. If it's 9, we also get a 3 there, because we can't be next to a 1. But it could be 6 or 8, and that doesn't really solve anything for me. Even though I know the 1 in this... Oh, it can't be 9, because there must be a 1 in one of those two cells. OK, so it's 1, 6, or 8. That feels like something. 2, 5, 1, 7. That can't be 7. 3 and 4 in this row, have, in this box, have to be in that row. So that's not 4, and that's not 3. I mean, I hadn't seen that before. I don't think it does anything, but it's definitely true.
So one of two or seven is in these cells. And that means, well, that means three never is, but we knew that because we've just said three or four are in one of these two. That can't be four. So these must all have joining up relationships with something. Mm, if that was a four, the line would require nine and eight here. Ah, oh, nearly. Ah, oh, bother. I was just about to say that four has to be in one of those cells, so this has to be an eight by the line, but actually four could be there. There's no reason it can't be. Three is in one of those places now. If that's a three, this is a two to make the X work. Um, otherwise, three is on the line. And then that is seven or eight. It's, it's not quite enough. It's so nearly enough to be forming something. If that was eight, this would have to be two. If that was eight, this couldn't be two, three. So it would have to be two, seven. And you'd get three. So if this was eight, you'd get two, seven here. Three, seven, six. And if that was eight, this would be a one, three, four triple. And this would be a two six seven set. It's very forcing. The eight would have to join to a two up there, which would create a two here. I mean, this is a complicated analysis that I don't want to have to do. What about this pair? It doesn't have a one or a nine. I've kept avoiding thinking about what it can be. It could be 2, 3, which would have to go 2, 3. That would be 4, surrounded by 9 and 8. 9, 8, 5, 1, 6, 7. Oh, I just don't know. I don't know. I want to keep going on this. This is really interesting to me. And I'm sure what I next find will be so blindingly obvious it's going to hurt. That one needs to touch either four there or nine there. This six or eight must touch either a four or a two, which can't be there. OK, so there's no relationship here between those cells. Therefore this cell either has a relationship with the two, making it three or eight, or with this one. Oh, how about this cell? Ah, this cell needs a relationship with something. Now it could be seven. I was thinking maybe it can't be seven. But if it was 732 here, that's all relationshiped up. That doesn't work for a quite complicated reason. Right, if this was 7, its relationship would have to be with a 3 here, which would put 2 here. If that goes 732, Oh, curses. I was going to say we're really struggling with 4, 6 and 8 here, but actually 8 could go there. And then that could be a 4, 6 pair. Yeah, it could. Maybe I can conclude that this is a pair. 
one, two, seven, five. But it involves three or four. Ah, if that is a pair, it can't have a three in it because it can't be with two or seven. Oh, OK, this can't be a three because it's meant to, it's yellow, so it would have to be touching a th two or a seven, and in that box, in that position, it can't. If this is a three, that's a two or seven. However, it could be just that being a three. So, four, oh, yeah, Ooh, four can't be, if four is here, we know that that's an 8 and that's a 9. And these are 6 and 3. If 4 is here, that pushes 3 here. Hmm, this is very close to doing something. Where's 9 in this box? It has to be yellow because it's not in that cell. And it has to touch a 1. Now, it could do it there with a 1 there, except that it couldn't because that would break that cell. And it can't sit there and there and touch a 1, so 9 in this box is there. Well, that has taken ages and I don't see it as all that simple. Now. It puts a 1 in one of those two positions, and therefore not here. Um, 1, 9, 5, 2. Now, this could be 3, 4, and 8. But the 8 would have to be next to a 2, either there next to that one, or here next to a 2, beside it. Come on, something. Oh, well, I can put an X in here that has arrived perforce. Um, that cell. It could be a 6 with a 4, a 2 with a 3, or a 4 with a 1. That's absolutely annoying. thought getting this 9 would reveal things to me, and it really hasn't. OK, I've got a 3, 4, 6, 8 triple in the top row. So everything else is 1, 2, or 7. Unfortunately, that doesn't rule either pair out of that cell. Maybe it gives me some sort of triple or something here. 1, 2, 7. Three, four. 8 is definitely one of those two cells in this box, and therefore not there. Now, if that's an 8, it has to be next to 2 there. And if that's an 8, it has to be next to 2 there. Whichever one is an 8 leaves a 4, 6, and the 2 leaves a 3, 7 in the column, and that doesn't resolve any little thing. that out before and that's not a three um this is not meant to be this hard that can't be a one because it's next to a white nine i mean that's just been sitting there forever that's the sort of thing i couldn't see um okay now this is three or four and has to be next to a number it can form a relationship with which could be 6 or 7 there, making a 10 relationship, but it could also be 6 or 7 here, or indeed a 1. That's absolute rubbish. 1 is in one of these two cells. Um, if it was here, that has to be a 4 to make the 1 work. Don't know. 
I just don't know what to do. I mean, I have to find these things that are just sitting here and I can't see them. And I have to find more of them and more quickly. Let's just take our time and get this right, because it is fascinating. I mean, I really am interested in this puzzle, but I'm no good at it. Um, again, this pair. If that was an eight, that would have to be three or seven. It couldn't be two or eight. Then that would have to be two or eight. Doesn't do anything. Again, am I really, I've got some white cell that is just sitting there next to something going, well, you can't be that digit. And I just can't see it. This, if it's a nine, that's a one. This can't be a six at all because of the whisper relationship with that cell. It does nothing, does it? But it's still true. This pair, could they really be two, three? Get a four there, which would have to be surrounded by nine, eight, one, six, seven here. Seven would have to be next to the two, which is what it would have to be next to anyway. Don't know. Okay, here's something that it can't be. This can't be a four six pair because you couldn't fill those cells. If it was an eight two pair, that would be six, that would be four, that would be three, that would be seven. That's actually just raised the prospect for me of if that is a four, and there's a four has to be in one of these two places, then where does six go? I don't know actually. No, that's not an interesting question. Eight two can be there. Oh my word, what is going on here? If that was a four, this would be three and this couldn't be seven. It would have to be eight. Oh, it's the same relationship as there. This can't be a six by the whispers relationship. If it's a seven, that's a 2-1 pair. That would have to be 4. It can't be. If this was a 7, that's not allowed to be 3 by the white-yellow relationship, and it's not allowed to be 4 by the whispers relationship. Wow. Again, I'm not embarrassed. That's not easy. But that's an 8. This can't be 2 because of the white cell. <sighs> James, you are cruel, heartless, and vicious. Um, it's no wonder I was scared of this puzzle. It really has dealt me some blows today. And I, I don't know if that hasn't really resolved much else, has it? I should probably be asking where two goes in this box or some clever question like that. I mean, seriously, is all I've found that that's an eight? I'm probably one or two steps away from making an absolutely huge breakthrough that allows a lot of cells to be filled in. I really think we're getting close at this point, but it's easy for me to claim that until I can actually back it up with something. It's looking a bit wet as proof, but okay, this was based on the whispers relationship. 
does that say that this can't be a 7? No, it doesn't, because we don't have the white cell here. 7 could be next to 3. That's a, such a shame. Okay, here's... Eight. If this was eight, this thing looks a bit difficult. If that was eight, then eight is in those cells, not with two. So if that's eight, that's two. Then, well, I mean, obviously eight is in these cells with either three or seven. Ah, no. Ah, this is a pair. This mustn't be a three, seven pair, not just because of that, but because one's white. It also mustn't be a four, six pair. So it's either four, seven, in which case that's three and this is a one, six pair. Or it's 3, 6, in which case that's 7, and this is a 1, 4 pair. So this is either 1, 4 or 1, 6. Well, that is worth noting. And which of them... Oh no, I was going to say which connection forms here. Is there any connection that can form there? The answer seems to be no. Wow. Wow. I'm not missing anything there. Right, I'm just going to go through this again. This can't be 3, 7 or 4, 6 because one of them is white. So if it's 3, 6, we get a 7 and a 1, 4 pair. If it's 4, 7, we get a 3 and a 1, 6 pair. So that's right. 1, 4 or 6, definitely including 1. This can't be a relationship. So that cell is going to have to connect to that one. We can put an X there. And this can't be a 4 anymore, for instance, because that doesn't have a relationship with 2 or 8. So 4 is in one of those cells, and that's a 3. And that means this isn't 7, that's 6. And now let's see if my claim, my hope, is fulfilled. Can't have a 6 there, can't have a 3 there. This can't be a 2-8 pair. They include a 7. Um, okay, that's obvious. This 3 has to join to something, and it can't join to that cell. So we get an X here, and this becomes a 7. Um, oh, we also get an X here, because... Ah, and it's 1, 4, or 1, 6, so it has to be 1, 4 to make that X work. We need an X there because that cell has to join to another yellow one. Right, now we are cooking with something like gas. Two, six, or eight here. Um, this needs to join. Oh, it can join to that. Okay, not to worry. We've got a three and a seven there. This becomes a four. That's not a seven. This isn't a four. Now this has to join and it can't join to that, so it's a 6 joining above. Um, this one, oh, that could. 9 can't join up here. Oh, don't say I'm stuck. No, that's a 6 now. That's 8, that's 4. That's just Sudoku. 4 is joined to 6. So this cell is going to have to join above. But that could be 2, 3. Oh, that's become an 8. It's just Sudoku some of the time. None of those are 8. Now, 8 has to join to something. It has to join to a 2 somewhere. That's there. These two don't have to join together. So that, anyway, let's put in the 2 there. That's 3. That's 7. These are eye wings, 3 and 2, and 8 below. 2 makes that 1 and 7. Now the 1 has joined to the 4. 
Ah, I don't know how... Oh, this 2 has to join above, of course. So that's a 3. Then they, that 4 and 6 must be joined together. That is kind of what they are. Um, and it doesn't really matter if 1 joins to 4. It's allowed to, but it doesn't have to. Oh, look, I've got a 6 there. So it is joined. Might as well put the X in. It doesn't really matter at all. Now, come on, this is working. We get an 8 here. That's a 2-7 pair. And we're not allowed 8-2, so they're resolved. 3 there. This is not 9 by Sudoku. We've got a 7-8 pair at the bottom. That is a 9 now. I think this is all just coming now. I could probably do the rest pretty much by Sudoku. So that's a 2. We've got an X. So 3, 4... That 4 joins to the 1, so I'd better keep recording these relationships just in case they suddenly help. Um, 7, 8 pair. Yes, this 2, 8 pair is done. So that does the 7, 8 pair. Yeah, OK, so that 8 is useful. That needs to join to something, and it's got to be that side. So that's a 2. Wow, I mean, I was right that I was really only one breakthrough away from getting this done, but my goodness, that wasn't easy at all to me. Sorry if it occasioned you to burst your lungs shouting. Now, before I put in that last cell, which is going to be a two, let's finish off with the X's that I can see. Uh, three, two as well, seven, three... Now, what is that last cell 2 going to join to? No, not an 8, so it's going to join to that 3. And that's why it's not white. I may have missed an X somewhere, but that... Oh, OK. It doesn't say I've got it right. That's because I've got two 5s in this row, because I've mistyped a 5 there as a 2. I hope that's all it was. There we go. Right. What a brilliant puzzle. That is absolutely perfectly fair and very hard to get through. That's taken me a long time. I've, I've enjoyed the whole journey. Um, an hour at the witching hour, and there we are. That is, that is a Halloween puzzle for you. Um, have a great November ahead of you, and uh, look forward to the Patreon pack of labors of hercules puzzles tomorrow because it's going to be great thanks for watching and see you again tomorrow bye for now